the sand dunes. We're getting close. There they are. The sand dunes. How psyched are you for this? Oh man, it's been years. Look at this place. There's the top dune. That's where we're going, Ryan. Oh very yeah. tippy top. Another thing that's very exciting about right now is that the river is running and that only runs like one month out of the year when there's spring runoff. This is a big deal. Oh, check it out, Zach. Look at this. I feel like we're at a beach. Everybody's got their lawn chairs out, having a great old time. Kids are building sand castles. Ooh, summertime. You feel that, Ryan? Oh. Finally, it's my favorite time of the it's year. It's my favorite time of year. Shorts and t-shirts every day. Can he do it? Flowing. He did it. And we got here just in time. The sun is broken out of the clouds. We got in after five, so it was free. <laughs> <laughs> Scamming the system. <laughs> Plus, everybody's on their way back down. That's right. We're gonna go watch the sunset. Oh, it'll be so romantic once again. I'm not sure why we even brought shoes, so we're gonna leave them here and hope that they're there when we come back. Because if they're not there, we are without shoes. <laughs> and worse things have happened, but we do not have any other replacements, so. Sand in the toes, feel so good, feel so good. So what's our goal here, Zach? Where are we going? We gotta go to the top. <laughs> the top. We can't go anywhere else. <laughs> we can deviate on the way, but we gotta get there. Yeah, we're just like any good human. We see something tall, we have to go to the top. Yeah, Zach. <laughs> I don't know if this camera is doing justice for how steep this is, but this really is pretty steep. It feels like my heart's gonna explode out of my chest. <laughs> We're so close. We're so close to the ridge. The ridge of dreams. Ah. Oh, that feels good. Look at this. Look at this. It's no man's land back here now. I predict a few fall summits <laughs> along the way, but that's how life is. You think you get to the top and you're not. You got a long ways to go. Yay! A little bit of downhill. We keep on getting to the top of these ridge lines and we think, oh, there can't be that much more. But then you look out and wow! Just keeps going. We're almost there! Almost there! Zach, my man! This is it. I think we did it. I don't see any other place to go that's higher. Ah. That means we're at the top. High five, brother. Mm. And now we just sit and contemplate life, appreciate the beauty, oh. and talk about pretty girls. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day in sand dune land. I didn't film much last night because the mosquitoes came out in full force. Even on top of the dune we were on when the sun went down, it was crazy. There were mosquitoes everywhere swarming us. You know, it was like that one cartoon in the Charlie Brown, one of his friends that walks around with like a dust cloud around him. 
That's what it felt like with mosquitoes with Zach and I. All the other tourists seemed fine, and we were just getting dive bombed by all the mosquitoes. Good morning, Zach. What are you doing? I'm doing what I thought was just a regular thing that all children did. Just take spear grass, pull it out, and then chase people with it. <laughs> Get a nice little wad of spears. And now, it's too bad neither Beth or Jan, they were the girls that we used to like to chase back in the day. Quaker camp. we get whole fistfuls of this and run around. And they loved it? Ah, uh, they didn't They didn't pretend to love it, but I think that they really did deep down. Oh yeah. Eating cereal is definitely a luxury because when I'm on a bike tour, I'm not bringing boxes of cereal and cold milk with me, so this is good. I like your cozy seat, bud. Yeah. A lot of people think it's just a staircase, but it's actually a seat first, staircase second. <laughs> uh, Look at these two guys. Mosquito, mosquito, mosquito. Go away. Ah, let's go, Zach. Let's leave. All right, we're out of here. Run, Thank run. You. I just got 20 mosquito bites to get that shot. Zach, wait up. Okay, we're out of here. Bye bye, sand dunes. So Zach, where are we going today? We're Tr going to Durango. We're going to Durango. We are heading up and over Wolf Creek Pass right now, and I've only been on this once in my life, and that's was during Race Across America. I rode up and over this at about midnight. It was so cool, it was freezing cold. <laughs> it was so cold, that's all I remember. But it was really fun riding over a mountain pass uh, in the pitch black. That was a cool experience. Something you don't know about Zach and I is that we both love waterfalls. Yeah, we like everything actually. We That's just true. love things. I love bananas. I love. I love lamp. Y you love lamp too? <laughs> <laughs> Waterfalls are raging this year because of all the snow melt. We got so much snow this winter in Colorado. It's gonna be a good waterfall season. Blasting right from here, I can already feel it. For this, oh, yeah. let's go to the shower. Let's do it. You know, Zach and I, we haven't showered in the last two days. This is our opportunity. That's right. And actually, Ryan, <laughs> come to think of it, you probably need something like that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Woo, Ready for this? this? We've, I've worn this shirt for three days in a row. Let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cold. Retreat. All right, how's that look? Yeah, I'm not wet at all, but totally worth it and definitely needed. You ready to go to Durango? Let's go to Durango. All right. Smelling like Irish Spring. Durango, we made it. And Zach just ate the last cherry. Definitely the MVP of the entire trip was that bag of cherries. Yum. What are you getting, Zach? It's Cowgirls Cotton Candy. Yeah, buddy, what yeah. flavor? Uh, we're going with grape, because apparently it's the best. I believe it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. See, this is the only way to do cotton candy, to see it made. Look at that. Zach, <laughs> whoa, my goodness. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> oh, don't eat it all. I haven't had cotton candy for probably 15 years. Does it taste mm. awesome? Way better than I remember. Mm. Oh, you made it talk. 
<laughs> He's like, get away from me, weirdo. Uh, Zach, I'm hearing country music here. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> we found out why we came to Durango. Apparently, it was to come to a rodeo. Yeah. We didn't know it when we left. No, we didn't. The whole purpose of it. Just but to be here, here right now, we called up our friends' parents. They said we're taking the family to the rodeo, so we're, that's where we are. So I'm sitting here with my new friends, Augie, Owen, and Sophia. How are we all doing? Good. Good. We're going to watch some, what are we going to watch? Rodeo. Rodeo. What is a rodeo? I don't even know what a rodeo is. Um, it's where Bucky Broncos and bull riding. Bucky Broncos and bull riding. That's what we want. Zach's excited. So this lovely lady right here is my one of my good friend Paul, his mom, and she was my soccer coach when I was 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah! It is time for a rodeo, right guys? My favorite part of any road in Favorite part of the day. Yes, it is. Mm -mm. You want some of this action? Mm, no, you <laughs> keep that for yourself. It doesn't even work on this. That's right. There's gonna be quite a lot of this. Keep coming, keep coming. Zach, do we have to leave? Is the adventure over? No, but our time with the tiny house is over. It's been wonderful. It has been wonderful. Thank you, my friend, for uh, inviting me on this little impromptu adventure. Yeah. It has been good to just to be out in nature, to spend some time with you, to eat honey bunches of oats, run up on sand dunes. What else do we do? You know, if you can do such a thing, if you can just pull out without really any warning, that means that you are living a very beautiful existence and privileged life. And Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that for sure. I feel very grateful that I have the life where I can just, yeah, Zach, I can just leave for the week with you. Let's go have the time of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> I think if 16 and 17 year old Ryan and Zach could dream up this when you know 40 and 39 year old Ryan they'd be like you guys are awesome way to go <laughs> I think we would have included more motorcycles or something <laughs> maybe so <laughs> there's been like a lot more rope swings yeah know. but they'd yeah. still be pretty psyched yeah they would they should be proud of us mm -hmm.